All right, everyone. So the next uh, two uh, attack foot, from the footwork attack uh, steps we're going to work on are our step across and our step across hop back. Again, this is for shooting. So, Tatiana. Understanding that you can do this off the footworks that we talked in the videos before about the two foot hop, the feet already set up, the right foot pivot, the left foot pivot, the right foot turn, uh, step towards, left foot step towards, the reverse pivot and the rip away pivot. Um, the next one we're gonna talk about is the uh, step across. So have it where your feet are, let move up a little closer please, excellent. Feet shoulder width apart. Your feet are already set up. Pass yourself the ball and go into shot fake. Good, and then just step across to go right. Good, so let's talk about that step across should be, for, set up. That step across should be 45 degree angle. The ball, because you have the ball on your right shoulder and you're stepping across to go right, Tatiana set up, you don't have to do a swing. You can go right into your hip. So step, exactly. So a nice right hip tuck while you're stepping across. And then you should have your right, uh, your left foot toes pointing forward. Uh, good, excellent, 45 degree. Maybe a little wider because your defender might be a little bit wider, maybe a little wider. Too much. Good. Somewhere around there. And then just get ready to explode either into your shot or into a layup or into a drive and pass. So you're, if your moves are powerful and they're with purpose, you're going to get some option from this. Right? And because you would only do this if somebody was being aggressive against you because you've proven your shot. Remember, all of these nice rips and reverse pivot and rip away and and step acrosses and all that stuff mean nothing if your defender does not fear your shot. If they fear your shot, then so many other things can happen in the game of basketball. All right, so let's go shot fake again, Tatiana. Feet are already set. Right foot step across. Step back into your shot fake. Step back into your shot fake. Left foot step across. Step back into your shot fake. Back and forth. Good. Tuck that ball a little bit harder. Protect it. Good. Remember, someone's trying to rip it out of your hands. You need to prepare for that. So that's just our step across. Let's do it now. Enrique and uh, Tatiana will spend about 30 to 40 seconds taking turns. Right foot pivot step towards or turn pivot just in that little spot there. And either go right or left step across, depending on your pivot. Point. Good. There you go. Next. Uh, you set up your right foot for your pivot foot, but you stepped it across, that was a travel. Be aware of which is your pivot foot. Good. There you go. There you go. The left foot was set up. So you could... Yes, so let's now, let's try this off the reverse pivot and step across this as well. Good. This is the natural step. Yeah, you can go that way, it doesn't matter. The basket's there, so yeah. You can do that. This is the natural step. That was a rip away. So I'm going to ask you a question, Enrique and Tatiana. Which one should you do? What should dictate if you do a rip away or step across? Where the defender closes out on you. If your right foot is your pivot foot, 
What dictates if you step across or rip away is how they close out on you. So with right foot pivot, if they close out onto your right, it's a rip away. With right foot pivot, if they close out to your left, it's a step across. That's what dictates. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the step across hop back. So Enrique, if you can move a little closer, please. Let's have it where you pass yourself the ball and right foot pivot, shot fake, step across, good. And now with the dribble, you're gonna hop back and get ready to shoot the ball. Ready, dribble. Excellent. So let's do that without the ball. So be careful because that ball might be in your way when you land. Pretend to pass yourself the ball, right foot pivot, shot fake, step across, dribble at the same time, and then hop back now, it's very difficult, everyone, to be able to hop back in a game situation with your feet in proper shooting position. More than likely, it'll be a slight turn. Do not worry about that, because if years and years of you releasing with proper arc, elbow in, then the ball will still have a really great chance to go in. Tatiana, Enrique, take turns. Right foot only up. All right. So also another thing I want to discuss quickly is <coughs> Tatiana come forward. All right. Right foot pivot. Shot fake. All right, so when, you, when she takes that step diagonal, go ahead, and she dribbles, right there, stop. If that step diagonal is not hard, if it's not 45 degrees, like say you step more towards that wall, okay, or say you step more forward, they're not gonna, it won't allow you to be as effective because if you step forward, you're basically stepping towards your defender. That means when you score up to shoot, if that's what you want to do, you're not going to be allowed to shoot, right? Uh, or, or if they go a little bit more to your side, they have less space they have to recover. You want to create space. That dribble allows you to get the ball back into your shooting pocket faster. So it has to be a hard, powerful dribble. It has to be. And then that hop back has to be strong and, again, purposeful in the terms of setting up for your shot fake, I mean for your shot, with proper form as quick as possible. So I want to see this done now a little bit quicker, a little bit more powerful with the step, with the dribble, and with the landing of the, of the, of the shot. Ready? Good. Excellent. All right, Tatiana, now you're going to do the same thing going the other direction. So pass yourself the ball, shot fake, right foot step across, excellent. Excellent. Remember, uh, when you're coming across, right, that ball needs to be protected, so rip it hard. Do not let that defender be able to steal that ball. Right, bring it up to the opposite hip, protect it. Powerful dribble, there you go. Excellent. Okay, good. So the next thing, the, the final one we're gonna be doing from this is the hesitation off the step back. So Enrique, step up without a ball. So this is the option that you're going to have when you prove that you can hit a step back shot. 
And the option is going to be a hesitation from that. So feet, right foot forward, shot fake, step across, hop back. Now let's say he's going to still keep his dribble alive, but everything else is going to say, I'm shooting. Now, this is a really elaborate fake for a shot, which a lot of players will buy. But they will only buy if he proves that he can actually hit that, um, that step back shot. Also, Enrique, what you will notice is once you prove that you can hit that step back, you won't have to go down as deep. I've seen some people do that step back and all they do is just flick their head. They barely even get into shooting position. But they're so, it's such a powerful move because the defender has to respect the fact that you've shown you can hit that step back shot. So let's see it with the ball. Let's see you doing a little further away so I wanna be able to see it in the screen. But go slow motion where you do a hesitation. Step back. Hesitates and then go forward. Good. Tatiana, go slow if you don't if you're not comfortable with it yet. Shot fake, steps across, hop back. Excellent. There you go. Keep going. Now what you're gonna notice too is when they step back. They don't have to shoot. They can pass. They can call for a pick and roll. They can, they can do a, a variety of things. They can even drive and shoot or drive and lay up or drive and dish the ball to the corner, depending on how the other team rotates. You just become really dangerous. Excellent. All right, Tatiana, you're going to do the same thing going the other direction now. Left foot step, very slow. Left foot step, shot fake. Step across, hop back. And then go for it. Excellent. Good. So what I would recommend if you're learning to do this or you want to learn to do this is you break this down by steps. First thing you might do, again, how we did this in the videos before is we worked on the uh, receiving the pass off different footwork for our shot. And then once you prove that, now it becomes a shot fake and then you can work on your step across. Once you've proven that, then you work on your step across hop back. Once you've proven that, now then, because you have all the smaller parts down, the final step is add that hesitation. I do not see many players be able to do a, a nice hesitation uh, fake from a, for a shot, but the ones that do, they're just, it's amazing to see those young ladies and young men that can do this, watch them play because it almost looks like they're dancing out there. So that is the um, step across, the step across hop back, and the step across hop back hesitation, or the hezi, as you young kids want to say it.